said you didn't hit her. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Alexa, turn off lights. Hey. I don't know, but I gotta go make my breakfast because I gotta go. Oops. Hey, I have a shirt on now. Um, I've worn this shirt maybe like three times in the last like two weeks. So, you know, that's what happens. Breakfast time. Oops. All right, so morning breakfast. We're gonna make that. We're gonna go three eggs, avocado, spinach, and toast like we did yesterday. I'm gonna grab a coffee for my first nine o'clock meeting over at Legends uh, to go over what we're photographing because I have the honor of doing their new campaign this year. So um, Legends is a large outdoor shopping mall. Um, I don't want to call it an outlet mall because there's like half outlets, half not. I'm not sure if that was our goal at the beginning, but um, it's a really cool place. There's the movie theater there and Chick-fil-A's over there, Key and Code's over there, Fuddruckers, Burlington, all these places. So I'm excited to do that, so we're going to meet with them today, but I have to eat. <sighs> all right, so day three, which means it's Wednesday because we started on Monday. I'm trying to figure out what to shoot today as far as the video goes. I want to do a video later today, although I'm working from 9 a.m. to I think 7 p.m. So I'll be back home tonight to film a video to do something. It's just had a really, really busy day. What are you doing? got done with an amazing meeting um, over at Legends, um, Legend outlet at Legends, uh, talking about some social media and some shoots that we're doing for them in the future. I'm so excited. Um, in May, we're going to do a couple shoots to promote the family aspect, the shopping, um, and then they have like three hotels opening, more restaurants opening there by the end of June. So it's going to be an amazing summer hub. Um, and of course, you know, winter hub and everything, but it's gonna be open for the summer. It's gonna look freaking amazing. Uh, if you guys are in the Sparks, Reno area, um, Legends is up in its freaking game. And I'm super excited because it's all outdoors anyway, so people can just go hang out, shop. But I felt like we never really had that like outdoor restaurant. Like, we don't really have it at Summit. I mean, Summit has a couple restaurants where they're all outskirts, but this place you can grab some food, walk around the mall, uh, just sit there. It's like a little place just to hang out, uh, which we had with Cadillac Ranch for a while, but we really don't have it anymore. So I'm super excited to see Legends grow. And it's literally like a minute away from my house, which is awesome. But the other thing that we're going to be doing is uh, they actually asked me to uh, do a day of, a day in Legends and vlog it. So I'm going to vlog it with my family in the next couple months or so. So you guys will watch, see that video. And what I'm going to try to do is kind of show you guys how using local environments in our daily life without spending too much money, um, minus the shopping, yeah, I mean, minus food, but uh, we hang out there quite a bit. I mean, we just did Key and Code there, the movie theater's there, um, Shields is there, so there's a Ferris wheel. I mean, there's less stuff going on. They're adding a few more things that are hush-hush right now that are super secretive. Um, and then the new hotels that are opening in that area. So it's gonna bring more money into our city, our area, and I, I personally love it. More money in the area means more money spent on photography. Book your boy. <laughs> So it's, it's exciting. Um, and I'm honored and happy to be part of it. So uh, you guys will see that vlog coming up soon. Uh, hopefully in the next um, couple months. Uh, I'm gonna send them an email and we're gonna get everything. Once the hotel opens, there's a media night that I'm gonna be part of that I get to go to and I'll vlog that as well. But that's what we're doing. All right, just got to the studio and I love surprises. So uh, they're actually repaving the parking lot and that makes me very, very happy. Look how cool that is. Oh, those are the new barrier thing. Guys, I'm such a cool area. Third Street Flats is where we're at right now. There's this really cool 
urban market behind me that I just, that, that's the events happening tonight where I'm doing headshots. And then Bab Cafe, which is like Korean food in a cup. I love stuff like this, man. This is awesome. So they turned, uh, this used to be the King's Inn and then and they turned it into a, they're calling the Third Street Flats. So I'm just waiting for somebody to come and let me in and then we're gonna be setting up in the conference room. I'm excited. How's it going? All right, so we're inside of the Third Street Flats right now and uh, this is cool. So follow me and see what they got going on. I wanna make this a little bit further. Um, so this is like the kind of the community area down here that if you have an apartment here, I was just talking to uh, uh, one of the managers, leasing managers, and she said there's one space left. Um, but with it comes with pool table, old sign from the last, this little slidey thing, super cool chairs, TVs, although it's not working right now. They have this huge kitchen, so theoretically if you lived here, you could host a little party um, and just rent this place out. Uh, but oh my, like it's like a full kitchen. Like this is awesome. TV, cool little chill area, and then there's up these stairs. So I shot the grand opening of this place last year and it was super cool, it still is super cool. If I was a, here's our little conference room. If I was a bachelor, like this would be the place to live expensive but this is all this extra stuff I don't even know do you think people even use these I mean it's cool to have but they live upstairs I don't know if anybody's just like coming down to sit here and have a drink or whatever unless there's like Wi-Fi enabled but they have the conference room so if you lived here you can set up stuff in the conference room yeah this is cool this is neat so here's my setup I'll show you guys what's going down so we're doing headshots for crew. It's a bunch of commercial real estate agents um, all over. So we're just doing a simple three light setup. We have a backdrop. I'm gonna do a hair light, a kicker light, and then a uh, key light. And that's it, super simple. Um, they originally wanted to put me in the conference room. I talked myself out into here. So I think it's awesome. But yeah, scope this place out. So the only bad thing is I'm locked in here. If I leave, I can't come back in. I don't have a key to this place. You have to have a code and a key, obviously, because people live here. Um, that's the door that everybody's gonna come in and out of from the urban market. So I just got here early and I set up really early, so I'm a half hour early. Let's get the camera set up, get ready to go. We'll talk in a little bit, bye. Okay. All right, it's, it's 11 o'clock, been doing some work, but went to the gym this morning, had a good breakfast, and everything's going well. So theoretically we're at day five. I did skip the gym yesterday, uh, but I'm four days this week, which is awesome. My goal is five days, so um, I do my days Monday through Sunday, so I have two more days to get in one more day of gym, and then we'll just go from there. Um, that's it, nothing too fancy happening right now. Just kind of getting everything together, and making dreams happen. Mm, keep you guys updated. I get an amazing engagement shoot today up in Tahoe, so I'm gonna go into Santa Harbor, and then I get to work with a model um, who I've been working with a ton, so um, that'll happen in an hour. I'm excited, I have to get dressed, get ready, and make this happen. All right, guys, we are heading to uh, Tahoe right now, to Santa Harbor. Um, I did an amazing shoot earlier today. And it was fun. We just kind of walked around the outside of Hatch, ran into the landlord again, talked about what they're gonna do with the building. Super excited with things to come. We're expanding our space at Hatch a little bit as well. Add a few more photographers in and a few more shoot spaces. Um, so I'm very excited about what's coming and I'm happy that everything's starting to mellow out and uh, um, you know everything's starting to work. I've got a bunch of gas. My gassing hasn't changed. Uh, we're grabbing gas now. We're done. So we're gonna head up the, uh, the mountain here about a half hour drive to Sand Mountain or Sand Harbor. And hopefully I get there in time because it looks like I'm running late. But get to go to Tahoe, I've been there in a while. You know, Tahoe is one of those places where I sometimes go like every single day for two weeks or I don't go there for like a month, but it's always an amazing area to check out. So 
We're gonna head up there, do an amazing engagement shoot, and rock it out. Bye. Oh, I gotta shave. Mm. All right, I lied. I said when you come back, it'd be a different day, but um, I did my taxes. It's been three hours. I'm limping now. I just filmed a couple videos. And uh, oh my God, it's hard. Oh my God. It's not hard. It's just like boring. One, two, nine, doctor. How much did you make? $10 million, Jeremy. You owe me IRS $70 million. Uh, and that's the suckiest part of doing taxes is because in two days, I have to pay a lot of money to them. Um, but those of you guys are doing your taxes, how are you guys doing it? Are you like pixifying it? Are you, are you sending it to somebody? Are you just walking in? Um, I'm a self-employed, so I can't just walk. I mean, I can't, I'm sure I can walk to H and R block and just have them do it. But, um, I don't know how that would work. I'm sure they'd charge me a whole bundle, but the girls are hanging out. It's super windy. Um, it's Sunday. It's a nice day. It's chill. I have nothing. My three o'clock had to reschedule. Luckily they did because the weather's crap, but they rescheduled for other purposes. So let's just go see what the other kids are doing. And I'm mic'd up here for my video, so I can turn you guys anywhere and the audio sounds the same, which is one of the benefits of having a lav mic. And this lav mic, the iRig lav mic, it was super cheap to buy, um, like 20 bucks or something. And it got great reviews and I was worried about it. People were like, buy these. This thing is awesome. And I have an adapter for my phone as well. We're in the wind now, you guys can be anywhere. So I have an adapter for my phone as well, so um, I can do it through my iPhone. Gia! Yeah. What are you guys doing? Nothing. Because my dad has a microphone. What are you guys doing? Uh, we're playing Minecraft. Oh. Can I try that? You're playing Minecraft. Oh, is that new? No. Or did you lose it? I lost the thing. I lost the, I lost the foamy thing. Hi. Hilarious. See, it's like one of those like that, you know. All right, where are the little ones? They're upstairs. What are they doing? Um, this is the neighbor's house. We're touring the neighbor's house, everybody. You know what? I'm gonna film a vlog with just touring this house. That's what I'm gonna do. What are you guys doing? What? Look, the perfect relationship. Video games in bed. <sighs> Alright, I'll be back at the house. Heading to... Uh... Oh my god, that's all green. Alright, so they're black ops in it, because zombies. I'm gonna head back home and do some more editing. Just checking up on the kids. My kids at the neighbor's house. Nobody likes my house. Bye, Lil. Uh, I was recently helping somebody on their vlogging setup. And I think they got a different camera. I wanna see how it actually works out. But one of the biggest things that I debated on was getting this Canon M6, which I, I love. I love this camera so much. Um, and also uh, just getting a regular DSLR with the interchangeable lens because I always have the lenses. And I'm happy with my decision, guys. If you're looking into vlogging, Canon M6. This thing is awesome. The only bad thing, obviously, is that the screen flips on the top up here and you have to put a ghetto mic on the side um, or hack it, ghetto rig it, whatever it's called. All right, let's change this audio out. Okay, camera audio, camera audio. Oh. And then this is our boom road video mic. But dude, this iRig lav mic, I did a review on it. You guys can find it on my channel. I did a full on just a little test of it, but look at this thing. This is uh, the adapter so that you can use it on um, regular mics um, where the iPhone has something a little bit different. And then this actually allows you to daisy chain. So I can put another one into here and I can wear one and then whoever's I'm interviewing can wear another one so the audio comes at the same time. Or if you don't want to use that, you can actually use that as a pass through to, uh, to listen. So you can have it and actually uh, judge the audio as it's coming in. So. Pretty baller. 
Oh, I think I left the keys in there. All right, so we I... had to reschedule a shoot today. Uh, got to Mint. Um, combination of things, some people weren't there. Uh, the weather's bad, and I just kind of was like, I think we should reschedule, so we did. Um, but kind of got a uh, glimpse into what we were shooting, which is awesome. So that's what we're doing. Uh, I'm gonna meet my wife over here at Chipotle, and we're gonna have some lunch. Uh, I have a three o'clock father-daughter shoot, something like that at the studio. So I'm excited. So I was all amped and, and ready to go, and now I'm just kind of dropped down. So you have to figure out what you're gonna do in that meantime. Um, what's up, dude? There's this guy just watching me out here. Am I the weird one for vlogging in my car, or is he the weird one for watching me vlog in my car? He's the weird one. I'm starving. I didn't eat breakfast. So workout's going really well. I haven't eaten breakfast today. And I think that's a downfall of my day so far. So I had energy and lost energy. So I'm gonna have some Chipotle, some chicken, and Lindsay got some stuff at Costco. But that's where we're at right now. Pop down, screaming out money and everything. But the workout's going well. I went four days total last week. Uh, today's Monday. My days are Monday through Sunday. That's how I work my work my workout week. So hopefully I can make five days this week, um, just nonstop going. This morning I did not want to go at all. I woke up with a headache. I was just extra tired. I'm pretty sure my alarm went off and I turned it off without waking up because I don't remember doing it all. I just woke up and I was like, oh my God, it's an hour and a half after I wanted to wake up. So I went to the gym and went there and I was like, I don't want to just got in the, started doing cardio. As soon as I was done with cardio, 20 minutes in, I was, I was there, I was good. So I'm happy that I went. So I'm happy that I went, but I didn't want to go. Now I have a little bit of a headache, so I'm gonna drink some water and uh, and hang out and do stuff until three, and then do more stuff later, and that's it. That's it, I hope you guys are having a good day. I shaved, I shaved. Do you guys notice any difference in my face? How about now? <laughs>